in Tunes and Roll. Happy day! My name is Samuel Hainan. I'm going to tell you about Is Dancing a Sin? In the Bible we have many examples of dancing, like David or like the Israelites when they crossed the Red Sea. The women danced because they wanted to praise the Lord because they had crossed the Red Sea. So what's that real dancing? Actually that was called liturgic dances. <laughs> what was a liturgic dance? It was holy, pure, and it had a reason. Amen. They used reason, yes? Yes. So, church in row. The man and woman were apart. Yes. So that they don't have carnal uh, feelings. Huh? feelings. Like a man and a woman that are married. So, it's true. the man and the woman were apart. And what can I tell you more? You know, the dances that we have in our years now are terrible. They don't have anything to with God. So, those are bad dances. We shouldn't do them. Because, remember the three things that we have to do. It has to be pure, holy, and with one with reason. reason. And so, children rule. If it doesn't have one of them, it's already bad because it had. If it misses some or two or one of them of the three, it's bad. And in the places where we go today there's no, nothing like nothing no reason it's just try to to block out your reason yes, exactly so those are bad places that we shouldn't go and especially it's not for a Christian man Christian man and woman to go and it's true or child in the Bible says in in Philippians 4 verse 8 mm-hmm Everything that is holy, pure, and kind, kind and of good taste, and of good taste mm -hmm. we should do. That's and true. Yes, that's where our mind should be. Yes, that's where our mind should be. So, turn to the rule. That's a good reminder when someone tells us to go. We should read Philippians 4 verse 8. Yes. Because that's a good reminder for our... Uh, our life now in these times it's true and we also have to pray for God that he gives us the mind so that we can know what we have to do and where we have to go and where we shouldn't, we shouldn't go or shouldn't do Amen. and children in the world what can I tell you more I think that's clear, right? Yes, actually, yeah, it's clear. So, children's world, in the Bible, it's very clear that we have to do things and not do things. It's true. Which ones we should and which ones we shouldn't do. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Samuel. So, so if you like this video, please subscribe. Oh yeah, please subscribe. <laughs> Good like and tell our children to look this video so that we can have more children that are holy, purified for heaven and for our Amen. beloved Jesus. Amen. So children in the world, remember Philippians 4 verse 8. Remember pure, holy and uh, reason. Okay. So we I'm uh I hope that you can remember these things. Okay, amazing. So, my children in the world, I hope, I hope with all my heart that you can uh, remember these things so that we never fall in the traps of Satan. Or even if our, someone tells us to go, we shouldn't go. Amen. Bye. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. Next Sabbath or next day. Okay.